I really don't know how today is gonna be and I think that's the exciting part of this journey. I might fail, but at least I'm attempting it. And I'm gonna fill you in along the ride. <laughs> Two hours in, exactly. This is where we're at. Huntington Beach Pier. My heart rate is higher than I expected. It's because of three reasons. One, I only slept three hours. Two, there's the excitement of uh, running 105 miles today. And three, I'm wearing a backpack of more than eight pounds. But I'm trying to run under 149. I don't want to have it go up too high. And then the alarm goes off, so that's a good thing. I'm done in three hours, 40 minutes. It's uh, it's going well. The only thing is, is I realized that this is the first marathon out of three, or out of four actually. And it's a little bit overwhelming to think that I still have to do three full marathons. So I'm really breaking it up in small chunks. Five miles each makes it easier on the brain. We got a little hill ahead of us. Let's get to work. <sighs> little water stop. Um, pick up my burrito right here, right now. Hello. Burrito. Yeah. Now we can get some real food in. I decided to change it up from all the goose and cliffhors. Send an O3 power plant. The boobies. That you always see from the freeway. There they are. There's a couple of mountains in the background. And even here, it's still very hilly. I underestimated how hilly it is. Like where I was expecting to run 8.30, 9 minute miles, I really see my heart rate elevate. So, a uh, bit of adjusting over there, but all good. 50 miles done. We are nearly halfway. That's an exciting feeling. And the sun is coming out, so it's soon gonna start getting warmer. There's about a seven miles an hour headwind, so that keeps me cool, but I do have to work harder. So. I underestimated this. I truly did. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. It seriously feels like I just ran up 10,000 stairs or something. 162.6. The lowest I've ever been in running. I'm so out of. I'm out of water. other than my attitude. There's supposedly a store here somewhere that I still haven't found yet that has some water. Do you know if there's a store somewhere? No, she doesn't know either. I kind of feel delirious. I've been running for nine and a half hours. <sighs> Things will get better. But, uh, yeah, I'm just super tired. I'm just such a happy person right now. Like, two minutes after I said that, I found a store. So, uh, I'm gonna fuel up right now. I feel a lot better, and then we'll go again. Five minutes after my coke, and I'm running again. That was all I needed. Unbelievable. I seriously just... I think I just had a glucose deficit, low on sugar, so I drank a coke, and as if a curtain just removed. I have energy again, my legs are feeling ten times better, and I can run again. 
and I feel happy. I feel there's hope that I'm gonna finish this thing. Wow, oh, I was seriously doubting I was gonna finish it. But now, since I'm on mile 71, I feel like I can do this. So, here we go. Mile 82, my legs are done. I can no longer run. I'm just gonna walk. It's just like as soon as I start running, my legs are just killing me. So I'm just gonna walk it out. Just talked to Jimmy about how I was feeling, what I was going through. He recommended getting a coffee, getting some caffeine in. CVS is about the only store I could find, so let's see if they have some mocha. Starbucks coffee, Red Bull, Skittles, M&M's and water. Score. I'm running again. Unbelievable. How the hell did I wake up from that? I'm feeling really shitty. It's the food again. The steepest hill of them all. We're at mile 88.8, .8, my favorite number. I'm just walking this up, it's just way too steep for me to run right now. But uh, yeah, I was able to run several miles back to back. So I was really able to catch up on some time, which is great. And so now we're already uh, nearing San Diego. Going away from the beach right now. Going up into the hilly area. Mission Bay Park, city of San Diego. I'm so happy right now. I'm gonna run to 100 miles, not to 105. It's getting quite sketchy out. I lost my headlight. People driving kind of crazy. I'm very satisfied with 100 miles. So, one more mile to go. I see a beach spot. I'm gonna run. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Someone is jabbing a knife in my leg. Ow. Oh. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Ow. It started in the dark. Ran all day, saw the sun come up. Experienced highs and lows and now we see the sun go down and I really thought that the last 20 miles I would have to walk 18 minute miles and miss the last train and everything but I was able to keep running with 0.2 miles to go until I hit my first 100 mile run it wasn't a mountain run but there were definitely some steep hills there 0.05 miles. A few more steps. Hundred miles. I'm tired. Wow. That was a long one. I made it back. Back to Long Beach, back to my apartment. The hardest time walking right now. I don't even want to take off my sock. I think I have an old blister on my right foot. Yeah, legs are kind of rough around the edges. 